I'm sorry. A lot of them get hairy enough as it is. Ah, uh, fair enough. No, I meant uh, there's one for beat bosses and get some that they normally would. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that afterwards. Really, yeah. uh, yeah, really going in the normal route, Cerno. I don't have. Oh, I didn't okay, see that one. Enough. That's not on my refresh. Yeah. So, I don't yeah, get. We I don't did get one for Radia. Cerno, C I R N O. Is that enough? Oh, they're they're gonna blow you up for not pronouncing the Japanese way. Break down. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. All right. All right. Sorry. I apologize for breakdown being American. It's a. Jeez. America's the only country. I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, America. Yeah, we're, we're from the only country in the world. is the only world. way. Exactly. We're from the only country in world, America. I don't know where Trekcock's from. He's from some place. This <laughs> <laughs> alternate land. dimension. <laughs> All right. Well, let's read these comments here. We got Johan Lundstrom saying, "I'm making yet another donation to you lot because of your awesome performance. I'd like to point out that I consider it a rather bittersweet feeling to know it's almost over, but I hope you see you guys do it again next year so I can donate to you some more." I know you respectfully you disagree on this, but you are the men and women, yeah. and I just like to point out glitch. that I respectfully disagree glitch. with your disagreement. Money okay, glitch. we can be respectful about it all you want. We're still going to disagree, because you, okay. sir, are the man. Okay, Rain's trying to pull off a glitch here. Oh. It's not really that hard. Oh, you're duplicating. All the dupe glitch. That's cool. Thank Do you me. want to explain this? Yeah, I never could get this to work. I it's just, all just menu work. Yeah, it's all menu work. I just, I just do it before the boat because it's easier. <laughs> And because usually right outside Miss uh, has a lower encounter rate. Yeah, I've got five dollars. Actually, well, it doesn't have a lower encounter rate. I just usually my steps line up, so I usually get one pretty quick before the boat, and not afterwards. All right. Oh, okay. Well, let's try to get a couple more in here before watery demise comes in. Oh, spoiler. <laughs> um, if you guys really want to be uh, interesting, if you want to donate for whoever I walk with, I guess I can do that too. Yeah. Whoever has the highest donation, I'll just. I'll You'll go just walk with them, man. Yeah, so right. walk lead if you want. Okay. okay. Uh, more comments. Uh, I, we, more I comments, just... though. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No. No breakdown. No comments. No comments from you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. Interrupter Uyama. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we got Heather Wells saying, so what? bad I can watch the FF4 as the finale. Tell Rain to keep up the great work. Rain, keep up the great work. <laughs> <laughs> I also wanted to mention my mother-in-law can now officially be called a cancer survivor, so huzzah for that. Huzzah, indeed. Uh, finally, my donation is extra insurance to see that Edge is named Trogdor because Edge is so totally the Burninator. Keep up the great work. Can't wait to see another marathon next year. And uh, we'll get the Cockner's little novel here last. So let's skip over that and go to Eric Bushman's second donation. Wanted to say thanks for an entertaining weekend and we'll be back next year. And, uh, well, hopefully we will be back next year. Thank you for like getting the text heavy section be. right here. Yeah. And uh, see, yeah, Alf Gunner Joseful. I can, like, maybe. I'll <laughs> Being so close to the goal, then I realized I still have some money somewhere that someone needs more than me. Here's to a fantastic like marathon, like and I'll see A-Lots. you guys next year. <laughs> Alright, thanks, Alf. You're the man. And uh, Poxnor's little uh, soliloquy here. I don't know. Definitely, uh, know that, so. would like to read this off without interruption. <laughs> Maybe. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Jacob, let me smash this real quick. So I apparently have to split my sandwich. Just <laughs> All right. Just okay, and just from Poxnor, as promised, 1,256 for the uh, 625 or better Chrono Trigger run. As tempted as I am to put this donation towards naming Edward Bieber, such a move would condemn me to a very deep part of hell. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> an even deeper part that I'm already going to for first donating to have someone smack Carcinogen in the back of the head, despite the fact that he's an awesome guy. And making float jokes, despite the fact that Senshi can fire back with her own amusing live run gas at me. Uh, so I think instead I'll just use this donation to share my thoughts and feelings. Over the past five days, I've had the privilege of listening to, many, to stories that many people have shared with me. Many of those stories were sad ones, stories of friends and family members whose lives were cut short by a horrible disease. You and your families have been in my heart for these past five days. Know that you have not only my thoughts and hugs, but those of everyone attending and watching this marathon. Uh, but over these past five days, I've also heard another kind of story. Stories of hopes of an uncle, a sister, a daughter, or a father who beats cancer. Each one of those stories is a single ray of hope that, t- taken together, blaze like the sun. Your stories warm my heart. Your stories are the reason that someone I've never had the pleasure of meeting phoned me from the other side of the continent at four in the morning to tell me to get back to the marathon. Uh, thank you for sharing this hope with me. I've read that groups of people from a neighborhood to a nation rise to accomplish great things when they face challenges that meet both of two conditions. The challenge is shared by everyone in the group, and the group feels that they can actually overcome the challenge through action. From the stories that people have shared with me, it is clear that we face a shared challenge. Everyone loves someone who has battled this disease, but what's more is that we know we can overcome this challenge. The Pokemon screen capture declaring that SDA defeated cancer was not just an idle joke. Rather, it captured the sentiment and the passion of all of us to overcome cancer. 
and that is why we have accomplished something amazing here. From the amazing runs produced by the runners to the amazing donations raised by thousands of perfect strangers who came together for this fight. To everyone involved in planning and running this marathon, and to everyone who donated, thank you. For me, this has been a marathon of fun and joy. It's been a marathon of laughter. Sometimes it's been a marathon of tears and sadness. But above all, it has been a marathon of hope. Hope for a future in which there are fewer stories to be shared about cancer. Hope for a future in which more of the stories shared about cancer are stories of success. To everyone who has helped make that future a reality, you have my most heartfelt, heartfelt gratitude. All the best, Ryan Poxnor Vogue. <laughs> what? what? So how did that work? Okay, yeah. um, I will explain this now that Poxnor's long notes yeah, over, I'm right? Sorry. Which I'm is sorry. very I'm touching. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's hats off, Poxnor. Hats off. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I was doing menu work. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. All right, for, as for everyone in the chat probably exploding, going, what the, ugh! Okay, quite simply, this game has horrible, and I mean absolutely horrible detection on uh, what actually is uh, workable in a lot of things. Uh, the basic summation of it is, quite simply, uh, I the game li likes to have bad error collection. If you de-equip something from combat, um, and you do it from, you select the... Uh, slot, like a second slot or some extra thing, not the uh, next empty slot, but the one after that or any subsequent one of that, you have to remember where it is, and you move that into your hand, the uh, the hand item goes into the next empty slot, which is properly thing, and your hand's, you know, all fine, but that slot you marked actually gets decremented, so it gets put to, oh, 255, 255, because there was zero there, then you take that, then I take that 255 and throw it in the other hand, and thus, I have 255 nothings in one hand, and I have one of nothing in the other hand because of errors. So the next time I go to the menu, I equip a sword, which makes it have 256 nothing uh, of whatever it is, which is nothing. So it just removes the display, and I can put that in there. And then I can put whatever I want, and the shield just doubles as per basically the same rules. But the reason I got so much money is if you try and sell 256 of an item, which is... Uh, the exact number of zero. It actually does math until the int overflows. So I basically sold 65,535 copies of a Shadow Sword. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that apparently do not exist in the menu. So if you're wondering what, what's going on, I basically cheated the seller out of all of his money by giving him nothing. I'm honestly shocked he had that much money. I mean, why is he selling weapons at a cost? <laughs> <laughs> he had that much money. <laughs> All right, uh, and just an update on our total in the chip-in. We have $49,679.34. Uh, with what we have in-house here, we're actually over 50 k But let's get the uh, chip-in get there before we start bumping goals. Yeah, yes. definitely. So, yeah, but that is awesome. Like, we're actually going to make it, which is crazy, but yeah, it's that best crazy, brand of crazy, crazy ever. Good. And uh, let's see. If you don't mind me uh, saying something to Prevent Cancer Foundation, because I think this fits with a, a bit of with what Poxnor said, is that... Um, I was contacted uh, yesterday morning when we were nearing 40,000, and uh, Linda Chastain, the senior director of special events, said that um, that they have a two-year research grant that has helped uh, find the HPV vaccine and helped uh, find a way to detect lung cancer early using CT scans, and that 40,000 is enough to cover one year of this two-year grant. So your it's money is definitely going, going towards yeah. fighting cancer like and all sorts of disease. Like that so. makes it like just that much more tangible what yeah, the money is going to do. So I'm sorry. I'm going to be real sorry. I forgot to name the twins uh, because I was Poxner's note and trying to yeah. explain the glitch. I forgot to go and name them. When I get back to Mysidia, I will definitely name the twins. I'm really, really sorry, guys. Um, yeah. And then they'll probably be locked after that because it's kind of a rush to Baron. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, Unless I'm really sorry. You might so, have an off chance of getting something in before. Yeah, so you maybe there. have about 10, 15 minutes to name the twins. If you don't want them to be named Jaina and... What was the other name? Zan. 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 The Wonder Twins, basically. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, we uh, we skipped all that dialogue, but I actually like the line from Goldbeds, you only have to watch this girl, because it makes him sound like a... Uh, a husband coming home after a hard day of work, like, geez, you know, I work all day, I kidnap people, I'm trying to destroy the world, you only have to watch this girl, what are you complaining about? <laughs> Alright, 
And we do have a bunch of new donations here. Oh, we got, um, let's see, Scott Swisher in with $19.99. Uh, William Brewer in with $5. Jens Heinzelman in with $5. Lane King in with $2. <laughs> Damian Moody in with $5. Robert Evanson in with $10. Ooh, uh, Caitlin Spangle in with $20. Uh, Paulo Vera in with $10. And Christopher Shanahan in with $5. Thanks so much, everybody. You are the man or the woman, as the case may be. Crazy awesome. And got to scroll all the way to the top to read comments. All the way to the top. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. From uh, Jen Heinzelman, I salute all you, all of you runners. Everyone who is there made this possible. Every single one of you who donated, because every donation counts. I thank you all, and we thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, from uh, Lin Lane King, aka Lindsay Lane King. Hey nerds, Lindsay King here again. I wish I could give more, but I donated throughout the marathon and this is the last of my money. Uh, you guys have done an utterly amazing job and all of you should be proud of yourselves. Sly Cooper, dancing, Metal Slug dying, Star Wars disguising, Battletoads piano ming, po Pokemon glitching, Yoshi athletics, and lots and lots of mutton bashing. Rock <laughs> on you game dominating mutants. Thanks so much. Thanks, Anna. Thanks. And uh, thanks for all the drawings. It's yeah, crazy actually, awesome. now's the and time the to shout her out if you don't mind. Indeed. Um, yeah. Lindy Lane King did all the banners for our marathon. Also known that, as Anna to Titan if you watch the Yeah, Marathon. Exactly. Marathon. Indeed. And uh, without her, we just have a plain looking page saying, here's our marathon. Ooh, marathon. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Kind of Instead cool. of donate or I will pile drive. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This. this I think uh, I think I think MGI in that get up needs to factor into the next uh, banner though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and him at a subway counter too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Work for me. <laughs> Wait, did you actually go out to subway in that cape? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's on YouTube. Uh, the video is <laughs> I gotta see this eventually. I have to yes. see that All right. too. And uh, a couple more comments uh, from Damian Moody. My last donation to this marathon. Just wanted to say that Final Fantasy IV is one of my favorite games of all time, and I'm glad you guys were willing to do it, even if it is about 13 hours after. The initial after the initial end time, uh, thanks a lot, Dragon Darts. And yeah, now we're it's like we weren't really worried too much about like time with the marathon. It was just getting through the games, and uh, yeah. like we got the space still. So let's keep playing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right. And uh, from uh, Paul Ver, we have uh, here's ten bucks for the sleeping pills fund. Seriously, the last four days have been awesome. You guys rocked, and I can't wait to see you guys again next year. Now I feel sad that this is all going to end. Well, it had to end sometime. Indefinitely. It does did. have to end sometime. Yes. All good things have to come to an end. <laughs> and we got shadowy Mylon. There's really not much special about this battle except cure them all and yes. actually use twin powers. Kind of twin powers, powers twin activate! Powers. Every FF has an obligatory zombie battle. Exactly. <laughs> what are you guys pulling? Come on. Good. One thing that's actually weird about this game is this version actually has row differences when the hard type does not. Like, it actually takes into account, like, monsters have row differences, what I mean. Oh. So, uh, when, uh, I don't I opt to attack something right away, it's basically because I'll do half damage to Mylon in the back row. Or in hard type, you actually do full damage and don't have the mischance, so. Oh. Yeah, it's a little weird. Oh. But a little random fact for you guys there, so. If you play the Japanese version, there is no, uh, row differences for the monsters. Uh, that wouldn't change the strategy for this battle at all, would it? Uh, it only changes the slight button presses, but... Okay. And actually, in, in the hard type, you generally uh, bluff with uh, Palum, okay. and then just fire two. Right, okay. And usually Porum's dead, because uh, without twin powers, she's kind of useless. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I actually used a holy arrow, or I should say white arrow. Yeah, old white. <laughs> and I believe the only reason that he's Mylon instead of Scarmiglione is because of space limitations. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That'd be really hard to fit in yeah. <laughs> that text. But that is a cool sounding game. Indeed. Yes. Uh, in case you don't know, in the original Japanese version, the uh, names of the four fiends come from Dante's Inferno. Yeah, some of the devils and demons. Yeah, good, and good luck figuring out how to pronounce them without playing the DS version that has voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah, Scarmiglione, Cagnazzo, Barbariccia, and uh, Rubicante. Yes. I just always called them Scarmiggles because I couldn't pronounce it. 
Carmigles. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like such a pet name. Oh, Carmigles, she's so cute. That's what Goldad calls them. They call them, I guess. And it pays to know what's coming. Road changes. Yeah, exactly. So because he's attacked from behind. Very sneaky. Fall flat into the ravine. <laughs> the deep ravine. The deep ravine. Yeah, I love how you're on top of a mountain ravine. and he says yeah. it's a ravine. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think he really said go to hell. Is pretty. Yeah. I like yeah, how it's like, like fall flat. Yeah, 